Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Good luck. So, our goal today, I guess, is to give the opponent something to think about. And if I can succeed at that, perhaps I've succeeded at my goal. Um, or perhaps I'll feel content in some way for having succeeded, if I should happen to. Um, this is looking a little dicey, so I'm going to move my king. Uh, this is dangerous because the square is open, so I want to be careful and make sure that I've defended the square. And my king is somewhat safe here, so I guess I'm happy with this outcome. Um, one piece of advice, oh, <laughs> I was going to say one piece of advice we learned from this weekend was don't spend all your moves in the opening pushing pawns. Um, but well, who can say, right? Perhaps pushing pawns is somehow an excellent thing and should be done more often. Who can say? All right. There is one factor here, however. That's a fork. So, whatever you can say about the meta of whether or not it's appropriate to push pawns frequently, um, that's a fork. Welcome. Alright, so we gained a pawn, and now I've got a horse, but even better, my horse can dance in ways that their bishop cannot dance. So a horse is not compelled to move the same way as a bishop moves. This means the horse is more powerful than the bishop. Shocking, I know, right? So their bishop is threatening to become a horse if I do nothing. But what if I just like take one move and stop that from happening? What's their plan? I think my plan is to push this pawn once, twice, and three times. Okay, so opponent is probably going to like move their king out of this pin and not sacrifice a horse for nothing. Alright, so change of plans. I'll take a pawn, and if the king moves away from this pawn, I'll take that pawn too. Alright, so that's right. You know, they've got this rook. Um, am I just going to take all the pawns after saying how moving pawns is, like, maybe not the best use of time? I don't. Okay, I offer my pawn. You can have one pawn. All right. And then I'm going to chase your rook with my silver and my rook. I'm curious where you will go and whether or not I'll be able to continue attacking your rook. Ah! They sidestep my plan. Bummer. That looked like a cool plan. Um... Alright. Uh, plan B is that I try to open this line so I can hit the rook and the lance. Um, we'll see whether or not they try to stop plan B as well. So I'm going to push this pawn next if they do nothing. If they move the king away, maybe I take this with check, maybe I take that with check. Probably I take that with check because I get a free silver too. Um, yeah, so they really want to use their bishop. 
my rook covers the knight, my rook covers the square. My gold covers the square. So I need to remove this pawn. Ah, my rook is no longer covering every square. That could be a problem. That could be a serious problem. Um, Alright, that's what I get for being so lax about my strategy. Is that now I have to come up with some pretty strict tactics to get myself out of this. That said, maybe I'm up to the task. Maybe not. So what I'm trying to achieve is moving my rook away to safety, um, but not giving up a silver for nothing. And maybe I should have done this a turn ago with this drop so that this wouldn't happen. But then they might have taken this anyway. I don't know. Well, if they'd taken this, I would have gotten a rook. It's the same thing, just a move different. So... Actually, here is probably the better. No, this is the safer place. All right, they take a pawn. I'm trying to click my pawn so I can sacrifice it. And then we'll sacrifice another pawn and another pawn. This way I do not lose my silver. All right, and then I think, I think that marks the end of the plan. I give up my knight and try to be happy about this. Um, I don't think it's so bad. Yeah, I gave up a knight. Mm. Hmm. All right, I want to activate my rook. So this should help. If they take with this silver, I can retreat my horse, hitting the rook. If the rook retreats, mission accomplished. So, um, I hadn't considered rook moving here, but that looks extremely sketchy, so there wasn't a need to consider it. Yep, mission accomplished. Um, so, if my goal is to activate my rook, anticipating that they're going to drop a pawn if I move my rook here, the next best thing I could do to activate it would be to just push this pawn and see that I'm exerting a lot of influence here. Mm-hmm. But, you know, a rook is not the perfect piece in shogi. There are a few perfect pieces. Um... Hmm. I'm debating... Yeah, I don't know what to do. Gold takes might be okay. No. None of these moves feel good. That's unfortunate. It would be nice to have a, a move that feels good here. That's kind of hard to come by. Um, yeah, we'll just do this. It's not what I dreamed of. But, yeah, the horse takes. I've removed their horse. They don't drop a rook. I don't know why you would move the rook instead of dropping something, but... Okay, we're here now. Um... So I continue saying no to this rook promotion. They might very well have a second rook join the attack here. Gofun. Do. 
Um, so I sidestep that. This I'm playing with fire, but I guess I deserve this after not finding finding decisive moves earlier. I should play more, talk less. Let's try that. Playing in more and talking less seems to be working. If they drop a pawn, my horse retreats. Their rook retreats. I drop a lance, the rook moves, I take a gold. If they move this, I would. Maybe I take it, but probably I just run. If they push this, maybe my silver retreats and forks the... Oh. Maybe also I push this... So I've prevented ro knight takes pawn. Um, but yeah, maybe I need to make an escape route. Oh, if they push here, I can take it. And they can't... This isn't a dragon, so it can't take back. That's interesting. Maybe that needed to aim over here. I'm not sure. I missed that. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm just going to sacrifice that piece. I'm getting quite nervous here. Hmm. Silver drop. I miss that. I miss the silver drop. Hmm. Oh, poo. Thanks for the game. Well played. Well played. One down. Two to go. Yep. GG. Good luck. I wonder where their king is going. That's where their king is going. All right.
My shape is not dodgy at all. <laughs> no, this is entirely sound, completely reasonable shogi on my part, except for the bad moves. Um, Yeah, I think it's reasonable to ask where their king is going. I think that's a reasonable question. All right, look, the pawn is materialized. Um. Hmm. Let's live it up. Here we go. We could play a nice calm game, or we could play this way. Why would we play a calm game? I don't know, man. Hmm. Wow. They backed off quickly. Um, sure. I'll take a free tempo. Thank you, sir. May I please have another? Maybe spend one tempo not being an idiot here. Oh yeah, so they could still promote back here. That's a fair point. At some point do I stop caring about the bishop promotion? Also, is that point right now? If there is such a point. Um, yeah, let's stop caring. Okay, they retreat once more. Um, Nana Fun. Okay, we're going to try this. I'm not fully sure about it, but it looks really cool. So we're going to try it. Um, don't try this at home. All right, so if I take that, rook takes, knight per moves up here. Doesn't do a whole lot, but I could sack the knight first if I wanted material. But what I want is this gold here, or the king. I just wonder if I can get that. Because their position looks extremely shaky here. I think I'll have to be content only winning a silver. Because I'm not seeing how silver takes silver can win. Maybe there is a win. It'd be really cool if there were, but I don't think there is one. Hmm. Do I promote here? 
think promoting's the reasonable thing if I'm gonna do something crazy there. It's the more reasonable of the two wild options. All right. So here, oh fudge, they can drop the knight back. This gets much, well, they could win my silver at any point now because it can't retreat or I have to make way for it to retreat. This is not what I planned on. Um, Interesting. Go fun. They could drop a knight here just to make things fun. I might have to take it if they do. Um, so, for visual interest, let's throw another prover up there. What's it going to be this time? Don't run from a fork. All right. Well, that ain't a fork, though. That's attacking one thing at a time. So I'm going to run. Hmm. What a messy position. I'm playing all the safe moves today, aren't I? Oh my goodness. Well, that's fun. Is there a... Among all these competing requests or ideas, um, which one wins? Okay, my silver going up doesn't do anything by itself. But here, um, this seems to make some waves. If they push the pawn, I could take the pawn. If they drop a silver here, we'll just let the tactics play themselves out. But yeah, the key is not to run from a fork. You can run from other things, just forks are not super great to run from. That's not even a fork, but I don't have to run from it anyway. Um, I might want to, actually. I mean, it is kind of a fork, isn't it? Um, hmm. I think we're going to go through the five phases of grief here together. Um, Sampun. Yeah, I'm getting beaten down by everybody, and I don't know why. None of my attacks are working, and their attacks don't seem to be working either. Until suddenly they do. Um, okay, I've got two silvers in hand, and nowhere to use them. Hmm. 
So what do I do? I try to clear this diagonal by force. Uh, that actually looks pretty sketchy in retrospect, but I'm trying to use this for my bishop, but it also makes way for my opponent's bishop. So this is perhaps not my best plan ever. Um, fudge. That demonstrates the power of the vanguard pawn. That is quite powerful. <sighs> uh, Alright, I have to go this way. All of my pieces are loose. This is terrible. Um, we're going to cut the damage there. This invites an op... Well, actually, yeah, after I do the fork, they can't take here to get out of the fork. Yeah, so they just do a reasonable recovery this way. Um, I step back and try not to die. And we'll see how that works. Not well, because they just dropped the lance here, but... I have to remove this. Um, and try to aim for the opponent's king without like breaking up all of my pieces in the center. Mm-hmm. There goes nothing. Second verse, same as the first. Although a lance drop there is probably far better, now that I think more about it. I was just so proud of my move. They have blocked the dragon. All of their pieces that they continue dropping are completely useless. Actually, yeah, taking the dragon is possibly not my best move there. Um, so, I'm just, since I'm in time pressure, I'm so focused on aiming for the king that I forget to take the opponent's dragon. All I care about is their king. So, normally taking a dragon would be an excellent move. It's probably still quite good, but um, I'm just out for blood today. That's all. Thanks for the game. 
All right. Two games down, one to go. Thank you. We'll take it. Good luck. All right, time for something different. Okay. Well, that was an interesting opening, wasn't it? Um, maybe I'll play a little defense now. Maybe I'll play a little defense now. What's the threat? Oh no! I cannot take the knight. Whatever will I do? Um... Hmm. Wait, and our proverb, defend against major pieces by drawing them closer. All right. I promise you, like, that is random. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've been here. I've made similar mistakes. We're all human. We can still have fun while we're human, but um, it's, yeah. I'm sure I would do the same. Uh, that's tough luck. I did wish them good luck. I hope their connection comes back. I wouldn't mind finishing the game normally, but thank you for the game. All right, three games down. So hopefully we've enjoyed or learned from this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.